It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. Oh my gosh. Yes. Welcome back to the channel. It's Lit Life with Miranda Reads, and I guess we're doing a second video on this Saturday because, oh my gosh, Owl Crate came in and I could not resist. So today we are unboxing How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories by Holly Black. Now this is based off of her original trilogy, The Cruel Prince. In that one, we follow Jude, and she's a human girl raised in fairyland, and she's to deal with all sorts of mm, complications due to the fair folk. And one of the largest complications is actually Prince Cardin, and that's where this book is centered on. As always with an Owl Crate, we have an exclusive front cover, we have exclusive end pages, it's signed by the author, and one thing that really makes this book stand out to me is the illustrations. Now this book is illustrated by Rovina Kai, and it is, to be frank, amazing. Like when you pick up an illustrated book, normally there's like, you know, like, I don't know, 10 to 15 pictures and they call it good. Not this one. There are illustrations everywhere and I am living for it. Now there's these gorgeous illustrations right before every single one of these stories, as well as smaller illustrations throughout. And honestly, there's not a single page without a pop of color on it, which truly makes it amazing. And as you can see, these illustrations aren't like couple of lines here and there. They are really high quality and beautiful. I'm just going to kind of flip through the book a little bit so you can see some of them. I don't want to show too much of the book because of copyright, but like I said, like these illustrations make it so worth it. And along with this edition comes these exclusive, ooh, I think it's called like an inner cover page. Essentially, it's illustrated by Tiara Lehamadu. And their Instagram handle is at bloody damn it. <laughs> and it is a illustration on the inside of the cover page of Cardon as he's lounging in the fairy world. And oh, it is gorgeous. Also with this edition, we have some exclusive foils and exclusive design on the front cover as well. If you've ordered the Apple Crate editions of the first three books, you will note that this one does not match the theme they had going on. It's the original cover, just slightly recolored, but at the same time, it's still quite enjoyable. Okay, so now we're going to hit the review portion of the unboxing slash review video. Now, if you know me, you know that one of my greatest pet peeves in life is unnecessary novellas slash companion novels. There's just something so pointless about having something that just doesn't add to the story at all that just really frustrates me. I am so incredibly happy to say that this was not the case. Is this an absolutely essential read to enjoy the overall trilogy? No. But did I absolutely love every single page I read in it? Yes. So we get quite a bit of fairy tale story, so like something you would read in an old-timey fairy tale book, as well as snippets of Cardin's life that kind of interact or overlap with those types of stories. I really loved learning about how the different events that Cardin lived through shaped his character, because I remember when I was reading the original trilogy, I was very confused by his seeming cruelty, but also like his good heart underneath. And then this book really helped explain how his character grew to be what we see in the original trilogy. So this book starts off when Cardin is very, very young, like elementary age, perhaps even a bit younger than that. And it goes through a very traumatic slash very poignant moments that were really seared into his memory. As he gets older, we get a few more scattered stories throughout his childhood to teenagehood. We get some background and behind the scenes moments from his teenagehood that Jude would not have seen and we haven't seen in the trilogy. Each story felt like it was unveiling something new and I absolutely loved it for it. This would be a definite case where I highly, highly, highly recommend getting the physical copy of the book because the illustrations are so wonderful and they go along with the text so well. After reading this one, honestly, all I want to do with my life is to go back and reread the original trilogy 
and start putting together all of the Easter eggs that she scattered in this one into the original context, because it has been a little bit since I last read that entire series. All in all, if you are a Holly Black fan, and if you are a Cruel Prince fan, this book did not disappoint, and it deserves a place on your shelf. Alright, thank you so, so much for watching. Happy reading, 